Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be reviewing the brand new Vizzy Art Spritz Edit eyeshadow palette, just like the cutest little tiny eyeshadow palette ever. So if you would like to hear my thoughts on this palette as well as see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Been getting a lot of dms from you guys asking me when i was going to put my spritz eyeshadow palette review up here we are it's finally here i would like to thank busy art for sending this little guy my way i was so excited to see it at my door it of course made my day. So like I said, this is the Spritz Edit Eyeshadow Palette from Vizzy Art. I do have a small collection of other edit palettes. I believe they have four others, so this should be the fifth unless I am mistaken, but the idea behind these edit palettes is that you get a lot of shades from Vizzy Art. You get 16 in this small, little, tiny, portable palette, and what's really awesome about these is that you can take each individual palette out. You can mix them with other edit palettes or even the Petite Pro. They're all the same size, so it's really Really interchangeable. You can really customize what kind of eyeshadow palette that you want. I normally don't do that just because I like to keep things in their palettes as is for you guys, but if I didn't have YouTube, I would definitely be mixing and matching shades. So let's start off with the general information about this palette. Right now, this palette is available on Vizzy Art and Muse Beauty Pro. It will be going, I believe, to Beautylish and Sephora as well if it's not already there. But I posted this on my community tab and I just wanted to say this as well on this video. If you make the decision to to purchase this palette. I highly encourage you purchase it from either the Vizzy Art website itself or Muse Beauty Pro. Those are both smaller companies that carry Vizzy Art. And I just think with these times going on in the world, it really is important to support smaller businesses. The money that you spend at these smaller sites are going to have a much bigger impact on the owners and just the people who also work for the company. I did post on my community tab a link to Muse Beauty Pro because they were actually having a code for 20% off on this palette if you're interested. I will put both links down below for both sites and you can decide where you want to purchase it from. I personally always purchase my Vizzy Art stuff from Muse Beauty Pro and they have a pretty good deal going on right now. This palette though is typically sold for $39 which if you are familiar with regular Vizzy Art prices this is a great value. So just from the little information sheet that I have, the inspiration here was drawn from the legendary Spritz cocktail. It's supposed to be very summery, warm kind of vibes, and I definitely get that from this eyeshadow palette. Now, as far as the packaging goes, it is the typical Vizzy Art packaging where you can open it up like this and you can actually, there's a mirror, and you can like set it up as an easel and all types of these different bendy ways. But this one's actually really cute because it has little bubbles on it for the cocktail. And just like this warm edit one, you can see it's not plain. It has such cute little details to it. And I think these details go a really long way. For a regular consumer, I think packaging is important because it just brightens up your mood and I think if Vizzy Art just continues to add those little details for a regular consumer, it's very special. And then you open it up and you, of course, reveal beautiful shades all in the warm family. So of course that's what I'm wearing today. As you can see, I definitely went for the more peachy kind of vibes for this look and just all the standout colors is what I used for today's look. So the finishes in here are five mattes, one metallic shade, which is supposed to be this one right here and five shimmers. In my personal opinion, there is one satin shade. This shade does have a sheen on it when you apply it to the lid, but I wouldn't necessarily call it a full-blown shimmer shadow. So this is the only one that I could argue is more so a satin rather than a shimmer, but that's me getting really picky. Overall, I really do enjoy this color story. I'm not a huge warm eyeshadow palette fan. However, this isn't too, too warm for me. I like that there are warm elements, but there also are peachy elements in here as well. We have some really pretty golds and there actually are some colors in here that aren't really warm. So overall, when you look at it, you're like, oh, that's a warm palette. But when you really take a deep look in, you don't have to get a warm look and that I like. I feel like you just have a lot of playroom with this palette. There's a lot of different kind of looks that you can get with this palette as well. As so far as the quality in here, just based on swatching and application, what I noticed is everything was quite on par with the regular Vizzy Art formula. Just everything I love about the formula. All of the mattes blended beautifully beautifully. I was a little worried about how maybe this shade would go and it honestly it's probably one of my favorite shades in the palette just because of how easy it was to work with. The shimmers were beautiful so I'm just going to take you straight into the tutorial. I want the tutorial to speak for itself because you will see how easily these eyeshadows applied so quality is not an issue. So let's get into it guys. 
I really, really love the look that we're doing today. So taking an Isom G34, I'm gonna start off with Taroko, and I'm just gonna use this kind of as a transition color in the inner half of my crease. So I'm not going back all of the way. I didn't do this on the other side, but bring it all the way up to the brow bone so that the peach can kind of show through. See how that adds a nice little element? Okay, changing it up already. Next, we're taking Granita right here. I'm using one of my rougher, small blending brushes for this. And we're doing the basic fade that I like to do on my crease using different colors. And then we're gonna go in with Figure Out right here, which is like described as a sun-ripened raspberry with a matte finish. I love that product description. And I'm using the same brush that I just used, just a different one, so I don't blend the colors too much. And I'm trying to keep my eye more of a rounded eye shape and also put that a little bit onto the outer half of the eyelid. This is a very, very special shade. And as you can see, it blend it out beautifully and I'm going to take a little bit of that shade we just used before and I'm going to use that to try and help blend these edges out. Oh, I love this shade so much. It's really really good. Those last two colors and then just run them along my lower lash line. I don't want to go too heavy on the inner half of my lower lash line because I want it to be as you can see almost no product on there. So we're keeping the darker shade right out here. For my eyelid I'm taking the star of the show which is Spritz. This has a slight shimmer finish. I would. It's not like a metallic or a foil by any means but it definitely has like a satiny finish that reflects in the light just a little bit. I'm going to leave about a third of my lid space kind of work spritz out. Some more of Figura right over because as you can see this one almost looks plum. It's awesome because I really just built up that shade out here. I'm gonna cover over spritz just to keep that color true. And then we're taking Prosecco which is just a very soft warm peachy shimmer that on my eyelid it's not too different from my skin tone which I really like the kind of translucent eyelid kind of look with just a little bit of a sheen putting that down here. As you can tell, the shadows layered really beautifully. Everything is transitioning really smoothly. I have little to no fallout. I just think in this demo here, it really spoke about the quality, as you can see. Sometimes with Fizzy Arts palettes, especially these edits, I'll notice maybe there's one or two shades that I consider to be flaky or not the best. From what I can tell so far, there is not a bad shadow in here. Everything works super seamlessly. It's a very cohesive color story. The colors blend into each other beautifully. It layers, no patchiness, all of that. So quality is spot on if you were thinking about getting this palette. The only thing that concerned me about this palette was the originality factor. For me, I'm a Vizzy Art collector, so that is a concern to me, but not everybody's a Vizzy Art collector. <laughs> so it's kind of a personal problem, but I do want to compare other palettes in case you guys are curious, because the second this released, I even saw on the comments like, this looks like warm edit, this is a Pricketine sister, all of that stuff. So I did do some side-by-side -side comparisons to just talk about how this palette fits into their collection. So the palettes that I thought that Spritz was the most reminiscent of were the warm edit palette, which let me open this, which is right here. And then it also reminded me a lot of the Petite Pro a Pricketine palette, which I love this little guy. This is perfect for the summer. All of these palettes, I really love, but even when you kind of see them together, they definitely are a family. They look kind of the same. I do want to compare the Warm Edit palette, and I have to say these are very, very close. They aren't twins, but they're a little bit more similar than sisters, I would say, if that makes sense. There are some shades that definitely are unique to this palette and unique to this palette, but I would say about 60 to 70 percent of the shades are very, very close. So here is how I'm going to direct you. If you have the warm edit and you aren't too crazy about peachy shades or just the shades that I used in my eye look today, those are the shades that separate this palette from this palette. So if you're not going to use the shades that I used today, then just stay with the warm edit. However, if you do like the shades, this might be worth it to you. But I would say when you take those out, the palettes are very similar. There's just a few shades in here that differentiate it from this and a few shades in here that differentiate it from this. Now, if you don't have 
either of these. Personally, the one that I prefer is the Spritz. I just like the colors in here better. I'm not a huge warm person. However, this one I think does have a little bit more depth in here, but both are really, really good and I do prefer the Spritz. I think this one has a little bit prettier colors, but they are very similar. So just make the decision that is best for you. And I do wanna take some time to compare it to the Apricotine. So the Petit Pro has eight shades. This guy has 16. So obviously I couldn't go color by color matchup, but I did take the shades in here that I think were similar and line them up with these shades that were similar. And I would say there are a few shades that do run close, but not as much as the Warm Edit. If you ask me, these are definitely in the same family, but they are just sisters, not twins or anything like that. And I think these actually go together well. Like if they were all in one palette, if this was just an addition, it would really make sense. So I think that if you have a Pricotine already, this one would be a good addition to pair with these shades and kind of expand that color story. However, again, like I said, as an eyeshadow palette owner, you have to make the decision that's best for yourself. But I would say these two are more complementary to each other. And these two, they have a lot of very similar colors just with a different central theme. But overall, I do think they did a really good job with spritz, especially if you don't have the other palettes that I've mentioned. I think this is a great way to get into Vizzy Art. The quality in here is impeccable as all of these shadows are. I got a really seamless look and I really do enjoy this palette. So if you are looking into it, I don't have anything bad to say about it. So that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you found it helpful. If you recreate the look that I did today, make sure you tag me. I love seeing the looks that you guys recreate from me. And like I said, if you are considering this palette, please consider purchasing it from a smaller company. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, I hope you guys take the time to do so and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.